In this video, we are going to be talking about meditation. So if you meditate regularly, then you can skip this video and move to the next one. So what do you think meditation is and why is it important? Is it some mumbo jumbo for older people? I used to think the same before I tried it on the Headspace app and began meditating and now I love it and I can't do without it. In our previous videos, we talked about three important processes. One of which, the first step that is, was awakening. And meditation is what helps you awaken yourself. It is basically about clearing your head and letting go of all that clutter that stops you from observing yourself, noticing yourself, freeing your mind of all the chaos that is within. The main reason that we are stuck in our status quo is habit. We are often running on autopilot and you know going through all of our course. That's when meditation comes in. It is basically about creating a gap between your stimulus and your response and becoming an observer and not immediately reacting to the situations. As they say, being indifferent makes all the difference. Let me tell you how a typical meditation exercise would look like. Imagine yourself or a person sitting in a park or in a very quiet room with closed eyes, breathing in, breathing out and also trying to be more immersed in his or her own self. Uh, in an average human mind, when you do something like this, at least 20,000 thoughts would come per minute, per five minutes. All you have to do is be indifferent from those thoughts to train, to train your brain to not link yourself, link your emotions or any reactions to those thoughts. In the beginning, it will be 20,000, slowly over time and with proper perseverance and habitual meditation, it will reduce to 10,000 and less and less and less. And finally, you'll be able to have a clear head. And that's what it is all about, to not have thousands or millions of thoughts whirling around your brain while you're trying to understand yourself, while you're trying to understand what changes you want to bring into your life. This puts break on automatic behavior. You automatically start to observe your habits, your behaviors, and, and then start to question, is this what I really want? Is this what I really want to do in my uh, daily course? And that's what we want. We want yourself to be asking why. But it will come with time and perseverance. So don't listen to me or the author or anyone else who asks you to try meditation in a particular way. Try it yourself. Um, maybe you could start with Headspace app or Calm app or maybe you could join some classes or maybe you could just do it yourself. I mean, uh, there are two types of meditations, guided and unguided. Headspace and Calm app would be goal-oriented. They would be guided meditation. Unguided meditation is when you learn it yourself eventually. So just sit in a calm room and do as I said and try to be free of your thoughts and you're going to be doing great. Although I can guarantee results if you stick with it. In our next video, we talk about what else can you do and what else is needed to design a beautiful future.